join me wherever you are. Would you join me in worshiping our Savior today? He's worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Him, you heavens and all that's above. Praise Him, you angels and heavenly hosts. Let the whole earth praise Him. Praise Him, the sun, moon, and bright shining stars. Praise Him, you heavens and waters and skies. Let the whole earth praise Him. Great in power, great in glory, great in mercy, King of heaven, great in battle. Gary Mitrick. We're here with Pastor Stephanie Motor. Welcome. Thank you. you and your husband, Pastor Berean Fellowship Church. Right, right. That's great. Mm -hmm. In the South Hills? In the South Hills, right. In Scott and, Township. <laughs> and he, he told me last time when he was with us that you're planning a church in West Virginia? In Weirton, West Virginia. Wow, yeah. that's got to yeah. be exciting. It is exciting. Well, we're glad you're with us well, today. thank you. Thanks for having me. Amen. Appreciate and it. we have back with us Pastor Frank Rondone. Welcome, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Gary. It's good to be here with you today. Amen. Would you just welcome all of our Cornerstone family Spanish viewers today? Would you do that? Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. 
Estamos contentos de que nos están viendo el día de hoy y hoy quiero que sepa que Dios se va a mover, Dios está haciendo algo especial. Pongamos nuestra fe, Dios está aquí para sanar. Bienvenido a este programa. I don't know what he said, but I'm sure it was good. <laughs> hey, we are glad you are with us today. This program is designed, it's really built on the foundation of prayer. We believe in the power of prayer. We believe we have a God that hears and answers prayer. And Pastor Stephanie, we believe that when two of us agree Amen. as touching anything we ask, we can have it. Right, absolutely. God is in the business of answering prayers. I mean, God wants his will done in our lives. He has come to bring us life. Jesus said he came to bring us life, life more abundantly. And we are grateful that uh, we have a God that when we pray according to his will, he hears us. That's so true. And Pastor Frank, you know, with this pandemic that's been ravaging not only our nation and the world, there's a lot of people that are battling fear. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, it's this time of year where a lot of students, college and high school, elementary students, they're all returning back to school. We want them to be safe, but we want them as well to have peace and not be afraid. And that is the one thing that comes from God. When you have a relationship with him and you know who is watching over you and you know who has loved you, and if he went to the cross for you and he died for you, won't he protect you? And so we got to live that way today. That, that, that is the difference today between those of us who have Jesus in their heart and those, and those who don't. Uh, we are baptized with love. We have a love that drives away all fear. Mm. In the meantime, those people that are walking in the world without the love of God, then don't have a resource, don't have a way. They, they are full of what they get, which is all the bad news, all the fear that they are filled with. But we who belong in the kingdom of God, we are sure that we have a God who is walking before us, protecting us. Amen. And Amen. fear is a spirit. It is. And God says he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. And Jesus said he gives us a peace that the world doesn't give, a peace that passes our understanding. So in other words, when I think about all the circumstances, well, it is a scary thing. When I think about all the things that are happening in the world, there is a, a, a really bad virus out there. In fact, yeah. I know of a couple of people who got it. It's a really bad virus out there. But Jesus said, regardless of what you see around you, I'm going to give you a peace that goes beyond circumstances. It's a peace that passes your mind, your understanding, what you're hearing through the media, what we see, the facts, the statistics. The peace passes beyond that because we know that, you know, when Jesus was in a boat, there was a storm all around them. He said, peace, be still. Amen. And he told them that they were going to go over to the other side. And when Peter was walking on the water and he, when he kept his eyes focused on Jesus, he, he was able to walk. But when he began to look at all the storm and the waves, that's when he began to sink. So when we look at all the statistics about the virus, or we look at, oh, look at all the people that have died. When we look at all the storms and the waves, then we begin to sink down into fear. But if we keep our eyes focused on him, on, on. Jesus, mm -hmm. we're gonna be able to walk through this, amen? We're gonna walk through in that peace that passes my understanding, my own thoughts, and the statistics and the facts. And it is amazing that says, it goes beyond understanding. Yes. yes. So in other words, I don't understand how God is going to protect me. He's right. the one doing the protecting. That's good. So, you know, I don't have to understand that. Yeah. And people are into the facts, the numbers. I understand how many people are getting sick and yeah. uh, the, the statistics and all that. But you know what? Uh, it's a piece that goes beyond my understanding. I don't get it. I don't know how he's doing it. But I do know that he has the power to protect me. And even if I get sick, he has the power to heal me. That's good. And he's That's the one doing right. it. That's Amen. right. Amen. So if you are battling fear today, or if you don't have peace, we have prayer partners that are available to pray with you. The number is there on your screen, 888-665-4483. We also want to let you know that we're going to share the word of God 
because the Bible says God confirms his word with signs mm -hmm. and wonders Absolutely. and miracles. Absolutely. So if you need a miracle yeah. today in your life, right. you have tuned in to the right program at the right time. And we're also going to take Holy Communion later on in the program. So we'd like you to get a cracker, a piece of bread, some juice in a cup, because we want you to participate with us. Don't just be a spectator, but enter in. It's a very meaningful time. Pastor Stephanie, would you welcome the presence of the Lord for us in prayer today? Amen. Well, Father God, we do honor you and we say, have your way here today in this place, in this, those that are viewing, Lord, in their homes, in their living rooms, in their bedrooms, perhaps in their cars or watching on their phones, wherever they're at, Lord, we ask you to come, be here, be yourself, Holy yes. Spirit. Yes. You don't have to behave, just be yourself. Just bring life, bring love, bring healing, bring hope. Lord, we honor you. Lord, it's not about us. Who are we? Lord, it's about you. Jesus, we thank you for your, your sacrifice. We thank you that you gave all so that we could be a part of your awesome kingdom, so that we could be your, the Lord's very own children. And so, Lord, we ask you to abide with us today. Let everything we say, let everything we pray, Lord, just have that anointing, that grace, and let it go forth as we speak your word today, let it go forth, Lord, and accomplish that which you please. Let it go right into that situation and work on the circumstances that there may affect a healing and a cure. Oh, God, we just love you so much. We love you so much. We honor you. And we, we just say, Lord, this is all about you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, make sure you get your communion elements together. If you need prayer, call the prayer line. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. I had been really sick for about a month and the doctors couldn't find anything wrong with me. One day, I called Cornerstone Television's prayer line and Irene, one of your prayer partners, prayed with me for healing. The very next day, I felt so much better. I couldn't believe it. I was surprised that I had no lingering symptoms, especially with me being sick for that long. Praise God. Cornerstone Television is changing lives because of generous friends just like you. Become a partner with your best gift today at 888-665-4483 or ctvn.org.
Amen. Oh, pour out your praise on him today. He is so worthy of our worship. Thank you. I want to share with you a story. It may be familiar to a lot of you. It's the story in Mark 5 about the woman. We never find out what her name is, but she's the woman with the issue of blood. And it says in Mark 5, 25, now there was a certain woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years and she suffered many things from many physicians. She spent all that she had and was no better, but rather she grew worse. I love this. But when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and she touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. And the first point is this, number one, Jesus will meet you where you are. Pastor Frank, the Lord didn't say, if someone touches the hem of my garment, she's the one that said, if I can just touch his garment, I know I'm going to be healed. If that goes just to show that God is waiting for someone to take initiative. Yes. To not just be passive and waiting. But God says, if somebody will touch me, I notice that the Bible does say that he was surrounded by people and that other people were touching him. But it is as if Jesus said, you know what, a lot of people are touching me, but somebody touched me in a different way. So even people that were closer to him had not drawn power from Jesus. They had not touched Jesus in a way that drew that healing that this woman needed. And when this woman saw Jesus, she decided to touch him. And when we touch Jesus with our faith, hmm, miracles happen. And Pastor Stephanie, a lot of people don't think they have enough faith. And yet we all have the measure. Jesus is just saying, just use what you have. I think that's what this woman did. Yeah, and you know, we can even have a mustard seed, something as small as a mustard seed of faith, and that will move our mountains. But I, I like this story because Jesus didn't set up the appointment with her. She set up an appointment with him. I like that. She decided, I'm gonna get healed today. <laughs> I'm touching his clothes. Mm -hmm. And you know, she really was considered unclean. She had a flow for 12 years. That means that she was unclean. And according to the laws of her time and the religious laws, right. she was not supposed to even be in public. Right. So she really had to risk a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you read the story, Jesus already had an appointment. He was on his way with Jairus to Jairus' house to pray for Jairus' daughter who was deathly ill, who was about ready to die. And so Jesus was on his way to this appointment and this woman, knowing that here's the ruler of the synagogue, and if I'm in public, I could be stoned for doing this because I'm not supposed to be here around, I'm, I may be contagious. I'm not supposed to be around all these people. But yet still, she presses through. She determines, I'm having an appointment with Jesus today. I'm touching his hem. I know, she said to herself, I know, I know if I touch the hem of that garment, I will be healed. And she pressed through that crowd and she touches the hem. And the Bible says what? Virtue came out of him. Jesus didn't even know it. He just felt this power. He didn't even know he was going to have this appointment wow. today. <laughs> but he felt this power. And of course, you know, he says to the disciples, who touched me? And they look at him and say, what do you mean who touched you? Everybody touched you. You're in a crowd. <laughs> you've been bumped. You've been touched. But somebody touched me differently. That's right. Why don't you reach out and touch the Lord today? I like to say, put some legs on your faith. Get motivated. Call the prayer line, 888-665-4483. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with faith, all things are possible. Later on in the story, let's read it, Mark 5, verse 29. So immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body she was healed of the affliction. 
And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power, the word virtue in the King James, went out of him, had gone out of him, he turned around to the crowd and he said, Who touched me? Who touched my clothes? But the disciples said, Lord, you see the multitudes thronging you and you say, Who touched me? Pastor Frank, a lot of people were physically pressing on him, but she was touching him with her faith, drawing virtue. He literally felt virtue leaving his body. And my second point is that virtue is still flowing today. Jesus is the same today Amen. as he was Amen. back then. Amen. Virtue is flowing, but here's what we need to learn from this. We got to be just like that woman, a woman that has faith and that is determined to get healed. Just as Pastor Stephanie said a few moments ago, it's a woman that is not going to stay passive, but she's going to go out, she's going to reach out, and she didn't let the differences get in their way. Notice how different the, her situation was from Jesus' situation. This woman, we don't know her name. Jesus, we know his name. This woman had been ill for many years, 12 years, the Bible says. But Jesus, he was healthy. He was, uh, this woman had no friends, no friends, nobody. In, in that period of time, she had lost no family, no friends. Jesus was surrounded by people. Uh, Jesus had Everybody wanted him to come to, his, to, to, to their home. This woman had never got an invitation to go anywhere. She had to determine herself and to say, I'm not going to let my circumstances. I, and when God says, and when God sees these things, then he cannot help it. He's attracted to that kind of faith. He says, power is going to flow. And so she got her healing that day. Amen. And, and you know, all three of us being pastors, we have laid hands and prayed for yes. probably thousands and thousands of people. And, and there is virtue yeah. mm. that flows through right. the touch it does. that can enter a person's life and bring healing to them. That's right. And that word virtue actually comes from, you know, dunamis, which is that dynamite power, that miracle working power and Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever and we can reach out and touch his garment even today and access that miracle dynamite power into our own lives and our own bodies that's right you know Jesus is Jewish I believe he was wearing a tallit mm -hmm. and at the end of the tallit are the the strings and in the Old Testament, the Bible says these refer to or remind us of the promises of God. Malachi says, those of us that fear the Lord, the Lord will arise with healing in his wings. And I believe, Pastor Frank, that when she touched the hem of his garment, she was getting a hold of his promise and believing that his promise and his word promised to heal her. And, and that's what many of us need to do today. We need to just get a hold of the promises. Come on. The promises are for God's children. So if I am a child of God, something has been promised to me. If I am in covenant with God, I got to know this. I got to know that the Lord is going to be good in his word. So if he said he's going to do it, He's going to do it. I just have to act up on that. Amen. Like the woman did. She reached out. So today Amen. is our day to reach out. Yes, it is. And then in Mark 5, verse 32, it says, And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, she came, she fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Jesus, number three, is our Jehovah Rapha. He is the Lord, our healer. 
And if you need healing today, whatever you are battling, if you are battling cancer in your body, if you're battling migraine headaches, if you're battling a blood condition, high blood pressure, heart conditions, I want you to know Jehovah Rapha is in the house. He is the Lord, your healer. And if you, like that woman, will just connect with him, reach out and touch him, I believe virtue will flow into you today and you can be healed and made well in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And I, I like the fact that this woman said in her own self, if I touch the hem, if I touch the hem, the tallit, as you were saying, if I touch, if I grab hold. And I want to say to you today, you say, well, how do I reach out in faith? Well, ask God, God, what is it? Is there something I need to do That's good. to walk my faith out, to demonstrate my faith? I remember one time praying for my daughter. You know, it's always hard to pray for your family because after all, I'm just her mother, you know. <laughs> and um, she had excruciating migraine headache, excruciating. Nothing was touching it. And she, you know, she says, mom, please pray for me. And so when I said, no, wait, before we just lay hands and proceed, let's ask the Lord what to do here. So I took a minute just to pray, just like, okay, God. And I had a glass of iced tea. And I said, I know, Victoria, this may seem very strange, but I'm going to sip this iced tea. And then I want you to sip this iced tea after me. And I know God's going to heal and touch you because this is what he said for us to do to demonstrate our faith. She goes, really, mom, really? Okay. So I took a sip of the iced tea. Victoria took a sip of the iced tea and you should have seen the look on her face. Literally that, that oppressive headache mm. left just like that. And she looked at me like, oh my goodness. See, when we do, and, and maybe what you do in your house today to release your healing, your symbol of grabbing hold of the hem may be different than somebody else's. Maybe God will say something to you uh, to demonstrate your faith, I want you just to stand up and march around this room. To demonstrate your faith, I want you to call somebody and tell them, you know, today I received my healing and I'm whole and I'm well. Amen. So for each of us, it might be something a little different. For this woman, it was grabbing hold of the hem. And what was so amazing about this woman walking in faith, if you read the very next chapter, when Jesus ended up in the next town, they all begged to what? Touch his hem. So her walking out in faith inspired a whole city. Then all of a sudden said, let's grab his hem. Because then it, it ignited faith in other people to be healed. And guess what? They were all healed as they touched that hem. So I'm just encouraging you. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today? There's something in your heart. There's something that you need to do to act out what you believe. Act out what you believe. Pastor Frank, a lot of times I say when you ask God for a miracle, he gives you an instruction. He gives you something yeah. to do because faith without works, it's dead. It's incomplete. Mm -hmm. And that goes to speak about how important obedience is in that's all of good. this. Yeah, we got to so be good. obedient. That's See, good. Stephanie, you, your, your daughter got healed because she was obedient. Right. She said, you, you do this. Even though she thought it was weird. So, you know, see, <laughs> she thought it was see weird. That, that's the thing about faith. Yeah. We don't have to understand why or how. We just have to obey. Yeah. We take the step of obedience and then God honors his word and he heals us. Pastor Gary, I think that is very interesting that this story introduces the woman as a woman with an issue. Yeah, but at good. the end, Jesus says, daughter. daughter. So she, she, she comes into the story with an issue, we, uh, known as a woman with an issue. And we know uh, people that with issues. <laughs> some, uh, some people are known by their issues. But yeah. then when she leaves mm -hmm. the story, she leaves a daughter. And a daughter is one who receives. So, so uh, and when you're a daughter, then you obey. It's just like as in the story of Pastor Stephanie, where her daughter obeyed. And so, you know, that's the sign of sonship, is obedience. We know that Jesus was the son of God because he was obedient in all things. Amen. Amen. If you are not a son or a daughter of the Lord Jesus Christ, why don't you today make that decision to ask the Lord to 
forgive you of your sins. The Bible says sin separates us from God. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short. But Jesus Christ went to the cross. He took our sins on his own body. He died for us. He took our place. And because he did that, if you would simply ask him to come into your heart and be your savior, be the Lord of your life. I always like to say Jesus goes where he's invited. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And if you pray that prayer, if you would just simply say, Dear Jesus, just say that, Dear Jesus, I confess all of my sins. I invite you to come into my heart. Be the Savior and the Lord of my life. Fill me with peace and be to me a father and a friend. Today, Lord, I'm coming home to you. And if you prayed that prayer, I pray for a peace now that only Christ can give you would come and rest upon you. If you prayed that for the very first time, he's writing your name in the Lamb's Amen. book of life. Amen. If you're praying that as a yes. recommitment to Christ. Pastor Stephanie, I believe we're living in a time where he's calling the backslider to come Amen. home. Yes. People Amen. to return Amen. back to their first love. Yeah. Talk to some of those folks. I just want to say, you know your father really, really loves you. And you might have feeling that maybe you've disappointed him or perhaps you were disappointed in others. We've all been disappointed by people. I mean, people are people, we're gonna be disappointed, but God is always faithful. God will never let us down. And I just wanna encourage you those that who feel like you knew the Lord and maybe your relationship isn't what it should be. Maybe you feel like, well, if I had to have a conversation with him, it would feel awkward. God wants there to be no division between you and him. God loves you. Your father is on the porch looking and waiting for you to come home. So I'm asking you to just, just release right now. I remember years ago, um, I got saved in a Baptist church and my Baptist pastor had a wonderful saying. He said, give Jesus the wheel and the keys of your life. You're gonna have to slide over. So today I'm asking you to make a slide. Just slide over and give God control of your life. You've tried it in your own way. If you could fix it, you would have fixed it. If you could have got it all the way it should have been, it would have been there by now. But God, but God is wanting his perfect will done in your life. He loves you. He's waiting for you. He wants to fully to restore you in Jesus' name. Yes, he does. Amen. And Richard called from Pittsburgh. He's committing his heart and life to the Lord Jesus Yay. Christ. Thank Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Pastor Frank, Praise the God. Bible says when people come to the Lord, there's a party going on in heaven. <laughs> Amen. And we thank you, uh, God, for saving Richard today. Richard, you today are a new creation. You are a new man, a new person. And there is a party in heaven. Maybe in the past in your life, you, had, you were sad or depressed or anxious, but now you have come into a new position, a position of privilege. You are now a son of God. Yes, you are. If you prayed that prayer or you just connected with Pastor Stephanie and feel that longing mm. to draw wow. near to God, to get closer to God, yeah in these yeah. crazy, wow. dark times Jesus. in our world, in the natural. Why don't you call the prayer line, 888-665-4483. A prayer partner will pray with you. 
I know there are so many of you watching. You're filled with anxiety. Mm. You're overcome with worry and stress. You don't have peace. That there's somebody watching. You, you, you're suffering from insomnia. You can't sleep at night because you're just so overwhelmed and you've got so many things on your mind. Why don't you call and let somebody pray with you? You've got to take every thought captive and you got to cast down those anxious thoughts and let God give you a peace. Others of you, if you're in pain today, there's somebody, you've got tremendous pain in your knees and joints. It's like an arthritis. It's almost keeping you from being able to walk. I believe the Lord is healing you right now, right now, in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. Call that number and a prayer partner will agree with you and then they're going to bring the request to us and we're going to set our faith with yours and believe for your miracle. If you have your communion elements, we're going to ask you to get them, your cracker, your piece of bread and your cup, your juice. We're going to pray over them and take communion together. <clears throat> Pastor Frank, would you pray over the bread and then I'll ask Pastor Stephanie to pray over the cup before we partake. Sure. Lord Jesus, we just thank you today for this holy communion, this time that we have to come before you and to remember what you did for us. For the Bible says that we must do this in remembrance of yes. you. Yes. Lord God, that we may Amen. never forget what yes. you have done, Lord God. That no worries, no fear, no anxiety will allow us to forget that you died for us on the cross. That on the cross you paid the price that you did not owe because we had a debt we could not pay. And that on the cross you carry with you all our sins and all our diseases. And for that we are thankful. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we do thank you for this cup, that it does represent your blood that was poured out. And that, Lord, we would have forgiveness of sin. Amen. And Lord, I know in human thinking, we think there's degrees to sin. Oh, this one isn't so bad, but that one's really bad. But Lord, to you, all sin is sin. And you died for all sins. There isn't anything that we have done, anything that we have thought, anything that we've experienced that your blood cannot wash and cleanse us yes, from. Yes, amen. Lord, we may think that we've done the, the most horrendous thing. How could God possibly forgive me? But Jesus had sinless, precious blood, the most valuable commodity on the earth, under the earth, and in the heavens is the blood of the lamb. And this blood was paid for our sins. And Lord, we receive it. We don't just believe it in our hearts and our minds, but we receive it. We receive cleansing of our sins. All sin has been washed away. Behold, all things are made new. Amen. And I am a new creature. Lord, we are new creatures in Christ. We're not who we were. This blood transforms us into new creatures. Behold, all things have become new. Thank you. Now take your cracker, your bread, and eat of it now and be healed in the name of Amen. Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. And as Christ lifted a cup, because he's a covenant God, we lift our cups and we take and drink in the name of Jesus. Be washed and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Now, some of you are feeling that healing virtue yeah. going through you right now. There's somebody, you're feeling a real warmth going through your spine and your vertebrae and down your back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. There's a nerve problem in someone's right right hip. Um, you have a hard time walking. It's 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 literally from your waist down. Um, it might be your sciatic nerve. God is touching that right now. Put your hand right where the pain is, and the Lord says, "Put your hand there and stand up." Put your hand there and stand up. And as you're standing up, that pain is seeping out of your body, out of your leg, out of you completely in Amen. Jesus' name. And you're going to find you can walk completely around the room. In fact, the Lord says, go out of your house and walk uh, around your house seven times. I don't know. It's just a demonstration of your faith. Walk around your house seven times and that pain will be gone, gone, gone in Jesus' name. Is somebody that has not been able to sleep for a while now. Come on. But today, tonight is your night. Mm -hmm. Maybe you will take a nap today in the afternoon. The Bible says that God gives sleep, rest to those whom He loves. Yes. So your rest is a sign of the fact that you have received the love of God. That fear is going to go away. That anxiety is going to go away. You're going to be able to relax and to sleep well, knowing that you have a God that is watching over you. He's protecting you. He, is, he, he doesn't slumber. He doesn't sleep. He is 24-7 with you. And you tonight, you're going to sleep so good. You're going to be refreshed. You're going to feel energized. You're going to be able to concentrate. As a matter of fact, let's pray right now. And I want you to do this. Yes. Just put your hands yes. on, your, on your head like this. And in the name of Jesus, That's pray. Right. That's Lord right. Jesus, That's right. I give you all my thoughts. I give you, Lord God, all my anxiety, my depression. Lord God, I give it to you. Take it from me and give me your rest. Help me to sleep tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. There's an Amen. infant, somebody has an infant with a valve problem and you're very worried and concerned. It's, it's not operating correctly. The Lord said that there will not have to be surgery. It will be a supernatural healing. Lay your hands on your infant. I think it's somebody's grandchild who's watching this. When you get with your grandchild, lay your hand on their chest and you will see that this valve will be completely whole and well. It'll be strong and it'll function according to God's plan in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. And with children and students returning back to school, there, there's some of you parents that just, you're, you're stressed out about it. Some of you, your, your students are staying in the house and it's a different kind of school year for you. And God does not want you to be anxious. He said, be anxious for nothing, about nothing, anything. But cast those cares, don't carry them roll them and cast them upon the Lord. Call that phone number if that's you, 888-665-4483. We're going to be praying in just a few moments. Pastor Frank, would you again just talk to our Spanish Cornerstone family viewers, just whatever the Lord's putting on your heart to say to them. Quiero que usted sepa que esta es la temporada de poner su confianza en Dios. No tenga miedo, no se asuste de las cosas que están pasando, sino más bien hoy día ponga su fe en Dios y cambie las cosas que haya que cambiar en su vida. Entienda que Dios nos está dando una oportunidad de cambio, una oportunidad de entrar a un nivel de intimidad con Él como nunca lo habíamos tenido antes. Ahora que usted tiene tiempo y ahora que usted tiene una manera de poder reunirse con Dios a diario, quizás en el pasado usted estaba ocupado todo el tiempo, pero ahora usted quizás tiene más tiempo y está en su casa. Entonces aproveche ese tiempo, métase en intimidad con Dios porque Dios revela secretos en medio de la intimidad y se los da a aquellos quienes le buscan. Sea usted uno de esos, sea usted uno de esos que están buscando de Dios el día de hoy. Amén. Amen. Call that number, 888-665-4483. So many are calling. Have you called yet? Have you called? We're going to just join our faith. We're going to lay hands on these so many requests that have come in. And we're each going to just pray for you and with you. And if you didn't get a chance to call, maybe you're in a nursing home or some of you are watching from a hospital bed. Some of you might even be in prison or in jail. 
Listen, there is no distance in the Holy Spirit. Psalm 107, 20 says he sent his word. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to send the word Amen. to Amen. heal and to deliver you. So just receive, put yeah, your yeah, receivers yeah. out yes. to receive your miracle yes. and your breakthrough. Pastor Stephanie, you begin and then, yeah. Pastor Frank, you follow, okay? Yes. Well, Father God, we just do lift all these up here in the name of Jesus, all these requests that have come in. And Father God, you know every need here. Lord, I see there's allergies here. There's, you know, cancer. Lord, there's uh, those who have lung problems, those that have issues, Lord, even mental torment. Father God, there's nothing too difficult for you. And your body was broken so that we would be free. So Lord, right now we're asking you, deliver, heal. Yes. I speak to every cell yes. of cancer yes. that's Amen. represented Amen. in every body lifted on these, on these requests. And Ooh, we robot, curse every cell of cancer. Yes. We say you're drying up out of their body. <clears throat> There's someone in particular you're getting ready right now to go yes. to the doctor. And when they're going to take the test and they're going to say, well, it was here last time, but it's not here now. That cancerous tumor Amen. is drying up and disappearing in Jesus' name. There's somebody here who um, has a middle ear infection. In fact, you feel like you're floating all the time and you feel like everything's moving. Well, your plane is landing right now. God Amen. is touching you Amen. and you're going to have normal balance because he's healing that inner ear difficulty in Jesus name. I saw somebody, um, there's something wrong with your retina. It's uh, trying to detach. Well, the Lord is attaching it again. It, he is, he is knitting it to where it needs to be. Thank you. Lord. God will cause it not to move and be out of place. And um, you are going to see clearly in Jesus name. Lord God, we pray now for provision in the name of Jesus Christ. Even for those who have been out of work for a while now, Lord God, we pray that you will provide, Lord God. That, I, 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 and I, we pray right now, no, no fear. No fear because we know Amen. that God provides. As a matter of fact, the Bible is clear and it says that God provided through, all throughout the desert. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we receive today, Lord God, and I pray for every prayer request here that is asking for provision, Lord God, for financial provision in their family, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, that there will be no lack of food in their home, that there will be no lack of whatever it is that they need in the name of Jesus Christ for their children, Lord God. I, I pray for a, there is a woman that is taking care of her mother, and now she's concerned, she's worried mm -hmm. because she does not know yeah. how to take care of that mother. But I pray right now, that woman, if, if that's you, just have faith and receive today. Yes. Be delivered from fear and receive the open door, the, the, the provision that God is sending your way. Because in the desert, that's where the children of God saw the most amazing provision. They never lacked anything. As a matter of fact, their wealth increased as they went through the desert. And we thank you, Jesus. We bless your name today. Amen. And Lord, we curse this coronavirus. Yes. yes. We say Jesus. dry up yes. and die at yes. the very roots. Yes. You will not live. Yes. You will not linger. Yes. You will not yes. remain. There will not be a resurge and a yes. second wave. Yes. Right. Lord, we cover Thank the you, children Thank and you, grandchildren, all the students returning back to the schools. Yes. Protect Hallelujah. all of them. Deliver Hallelujah. them Hallelujah. and keep Hallelujah. your hand Hallelujah. upon them. Give them the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God for this coming school year. And Lord, we thank you for peace today. Peace for everyone that just needs peace. And Lord, with loving kindness, draw, draw all of us closer and back to you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, I believe we had church today. Amen. Amen. I that was quite that was awesome. the time. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs>
And if you are blessed by programs like Move Your Mountain or our Hope Today, programs we produce right here in-house, or maybe you enjoy our wonderful, wonderful lineup of our national programs that are on every day or some of them once a week, we value not only your prayers, but your partnership as well. If you've made a pledge at one of our recent telethons or you would just like to sow a one-time gift into the what I believe is good ground and fertile soil of the gospel here at Cornerstone Television, let me give you our address. It's CTVN, Cornerstone Television Network. We're at 1 Signal Hill Drive. We're in Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. CTVN, 1 Signal Hill Drive, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. Pastor Frank, what's the name of your church and tell us where it's at? It's Iglesia Cristiana Sion, and we are at 1462 Brookline Boulevard in the South Hills. And your service times are? We have three services on Sundays. We have 9 a.m., 10.30, and 12 p.m. And some of them are Spanish speaking services, we, we, right? We do three services. The one at 9 a.m. is in Spanish. The one at 10.30 is in Spanish. And the one at 12 o'clock is all in English. Okay, well, great. We're so blessed to have both of you with us today. Thank you for tuning in. Please, please stay encouraged. Like Pastor Stephanie said, keep your eyes, your mind on the Lord. Don't get your eyes on the circumstances. All that stuff is just temporary. We're going to go out with a song by Pastor Rebecca Luker entitled, I Love This, Say the Name. Jesus. 
Here at Cornerstone TV, we depend on your support to provide inspiring, life-changing programs. As a way of saying thank you, we want to send you Keys to Powerful Prayer by best-selling author Stormy Omardian. Receive this small pocketbook along with Chosen, a 30-day devotional for your best gift. To give, call 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org. Request Keys to Powerful Prayer and reignite your prayer life today. Thank you. 